This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with UFC Bantamweight Jesse Sweegener Strader, who fights Chad and Heliger at UFC Vegas 48 on February 19th. Jesse, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, first off, first fight in little, quite a minute. It's yeah. been quite a few months since your last one. Just yeah. talk to me. How has everything been going? Uh, man, couldn't be better, honestly. Everything is good. Camp is good. Weight is good. Um, just feeling good. I got a good team behind me, and uh, I've had amazing training. Feeling just ready and excited for this one, honestly. And then it's been too long. I was going to say, it's coming up on, I believe, going to be almost a year yeah. since your last fight with yeah. Montel Jackson. I'd like to go back to that one a little bit to work our way to the present. Just yeah. uh, short notice, UFC debut doesn't go your way just recap the experience and then obviously going back to the gym and you know learning from it and everything yeah yeah so that one was uh man it was tough it was tough but uh you know I had to do what I had to do to get into the UFC and um you know I was battling through some injuries but that's not that's not really the excuse short notice we already knew it was going to be that so it was okay we were prepared for that and um you know paid paid the price for some little mistakes and uh but dude I couldn't be more excited to get back in the gym after that work on those mistakes unfortunately I had another fight and then I had to go get my I had to go get an injury fixed up real quick and then um and then now we're here. Now I'm 100%. I've never felt better. I haven't felt this good in so long. So I feel like I'm back to me, back to myself, and I'm ready to to have a fight for the fans. That's how. That's my style. It's always been my style. So, man, I, I just really can't wait. I just really can't wait to put on a show for these people. Can you talk a little bit about having that moment? Because even though it didn't go your way, you get out there, you're on ESPN+. Plus. Jesse Strader from the Antelope Valley. You get to hear him shout your name. I mean, can you put into words what it's like to obviously go from the regional scene and then you're there and it happens? Yeah, it's hard to put it into words, but uh, you know, it felt right. It felt like it felt like all the all the manifestation of everything I've worked for ha has come to that point. So it felt good. It felt it felt like uh, it felt it felt right. It felt right. It felt right, and that's why I'm excited for this one. I'm excited to be healed up, ready, full camp, and great team behind me, ready to put on a show. Like, seriously, this one, do not miss this one. This one's going to be a good one. I want to ask you about a few things. Fans who follow you on social media, they'll notice you're really, really honest about our diet, really honest about eat healthy, really honest about a, a, a lot of things that, you know, Jesse, when I'm just trying to eat dinner, I don't need that guilt trip, man. And, and I know you mean well. I know you care about me, but us and yeah. bro, I just want to eat. But talk to me about this, because clearly people will see that this is something you're very committed to and very invested in to share this knowledge. Yeah, 100 percent, man. Uh, and you're, you're all right, man. You're not too bad. OK, I got to say, uh, no, man, basically, trying to keep up with you. Hey, there we go. You got it. It's one day at a time, uh, brick by brick. And uh, no, basically, man, um, I feel like, you know, America is very obese and, it, and this pandemic, this pandemic is taking out a lot of people, a lot of people that I know and care about. And I don't want to see everyone losing their family members to something so simple to fix, just diet and exercise and it doesn't have to be crazy you can enjoy yourself in moderation but i'm just trying to get out there trying to help what i can because the more the more i talk to people the more i find out how little they know how little they actually know about nutrition and they think they could be eating these packaged foods every day and they think they could be hitting fast food every day eating out every day drinking soda every day drinking alcohol every day those, those things are meant for occasions those things are meant for um uh not not everyday foods those things are meant for once in a while and it's okay to enjoy yourself and feel guilt free about it but you should incorporate whole foods and and eat foods with actual nutrition that are going to make you feel good make you make you sleep good just everything that uh that you need man to be healthy i, I don't want to see anyone uh out there suffering so can i ask when did that uh that transition happened for you because obviously you know lifelong athlete you know been an athlete since high school and wrestling and everything it's one thing to be like oh well you know i eat well and i work out but actually like knowing the difference of everything that's in your food's not you know greens are good everything else yeah. is less good How, when did that change kind of happen for you in your life 
Yeah, you know, uh, like growing up, I've always been in sports, like my whole life, always been in sports, always been limited with, you know, things like my parents always instilled moderation, always instilled that discipline, always instilled that. So, so when I got, when I got into high school, started wrestling, then like now you got to make a weight. So then nutrition comes into play a little bit more. You got to be, you got to be a little bit more dialed in with it. And so I, I remember in high school, man, I was, I was in high school just looking up, what is this? What's, what nutrients are in this? What, how many calories, how many carbs, fats, proteins, like, and that's when it really sparked my interest because then it was like a science. And then once I got out of high school, I actually started studying like kinesiology because I was going to move into like exercise science, like something to do with that. But I started taking nutrition classes and I just kind of became like really interested in that. And then I started just finding out things that were interesting and and I could dial in my weight cuts and my weight better. And, uh, man, it's paid off. And uh, I'm not done with school. I got a lot of school to do because training is a full-time job. Like, I'm lucky to take a class here and there. But um, eventually, hopefully, I can move into that direction. But for what I know now, and I'm constantly learning and constantly looking things up. And uh, I'm just trying to spread the information that I do know. And if I don't know it, I won't say I know it. And if I was wrong about something, I'll be the first one to admit, hey, hold on, let's, let's dial it back. Let's, uh, re, let's uh, you know, rethink that. You know, so I just want to be, I want to be, uh, I want to be helpful. I want to be helpful any way I can. Yeah, well, I mean, certainly it's a great cause. Certainly anyone could always use any knowledge, whether they use it on a daily basis or intermittently. To go back to MMA, um, a lot of people following you will see your training. You're based out of Antelope Valley in the SoCal Fight Factory. But I've seen a lot of work at Peterson's Grapplers. Yeah. So just talk, talk to me. How are you splitting your time with training for this camp? Who specifically is kind of taking the reins for your training camp and being head coach and everything? Yeah, well, for sure, uh, I'm doing most of my training at, P at Peterson Grapplers PG. We call it um, uh, Brian Peterson. There, he's he's a, he's a Matt Wizard dude. Wrestling, grappling. Shout out, teach me grappling. By the way, he's got a YouTube channel. The dude is a wizard on the mat, and um, he's kind of like my secret weapon, man. This guy is obsessed with MMA, everything martial arts, and he's been doing it his entire life. Uh, you know, the world the world will know him soon. The world already knows my kickboxing coach, Pete Sugarfoot Cunningham. He's like seven, eight time world champion, fifty and O and one draw record, crazy. And then I still do some training at SoCal Fight Factory, man. That's like my home. That's where I came from. That's like who kind of brought me up in the pro career. But you know, now I'm doing a lot of training with a lot more um a lot more pro athletes and competitive athletes and stuff like that so shout out to all those people shout out to all my gyms renee leva at socal five factory brian peterson at pg peterson grapplers and then uh pete sugarfoot cunningham man sugarfoot kickboxing so all of them that's my team right there let's talk a bit about chad and Haliger. obviously your second outing out there in the ufc just what are your thoughts on him and his game as an opponent man tough guy tough guy scrappy guy and I'm really looking forward, like, I like the fans got to understand, man, this one's for them right here. Like, this is going to be a fight. Like, I, I, don't, I never come into a fight thinking I'm going to go just mop somebody up. I'm super confident in myself because I train hard, I work hard, I'm super disciplined, and I love this game. I'm obsessed with this game. But uh, I do not take anyone lightly, but I do know it's going to be a good fight. I know for sure there's, there's, the math does not add up for it being a boring fight at all. So it adds up to a good fight. I think a lot of people want to know um, the mustache. Will it stare? Will it go on fight night? Man, you know what? The closer I get, the more attached I get, the people <laughs> are getting attached to it. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, and like for people who have known you a long time, like this is like, like you're the, a variant of you. You're like alternate universe straighter, not the guy. I mean, what do you think? What does your heart tell you you'll look like on Saturday? Man, you know what? I'm going to keep it a surprise, but I will say I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. <laughs> you know what? If it gives you the power, I, I fully support you, man. I appreciate uh, Finally, that. anyone else you want to shout out just uh, before we let you go? Yeah, man. All, all my sponsors. Um, shoot. Let me just put up this right here. This who I want to shout out right there. There you go. All those guys right there, man. It's too many to name. I appreciate all you guys. 
everyone in the frame. Man, seriously, you guys are amazing. I could not do this without you guys. Um, I appreciate your support. And, man, just thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jesse, we're looking forward to another good one. Best of luck. Thank you, brother.